Hey guys, welcome to our blending lesson today. So today is January 19th and we are starting our first day in Unit 3, Week 2. So this unit we're working on long vowels, which is just the letter saying its name like, it, like they would say it in the alphabet, like A, E, I. Alright, so this week, last week we did the long A, this says A. This week we're going to do the long I, which says I. And we are focusing on the I blank E spelling pattern. So just like last week, we did A blank E. This week, we're doing I blank E. So let's do our high frequency words first. As always, make sure you're focused, participating, paying attention, really help you own the words and gain more practice with those skills. Why? Today. Some. Way. Now. Away. Pretty. Grow. Green. Water. Together. Should, upon, from, once, happy, any, so, girl, old, how, ago, people, boy, done, by, every, after, soon, and work. Excellent. Thank you so much. All right, let's get started. First word, pine. Your turn. Puh. I, m, mm, pine. So in the middle of that word pine, you hear that letter I. You just hear it like I. So he says pa. This time I blanky makes that long I sound like what you hear in the middle of the word five. Pa I. And says, n pa i pine. Next word. Pile. Your turn. Pa i ol pile. He says, pa. I blank ye. I. L says, ol. word mile your turn m mm. i o mile m says m mm. i blank e i m mm. i my l says o m mm. i o mile next word Vine, your turn. V, I, M, vine, vine. V says, V. I blanky makes that long I sound. I. And says, N, V, I, M, vine. All right, let's read our first line. Pine, pile, mile. Vine, your turn. Wonderful, thank you so much. All right, next word. Shine, your turn. Sh, I, n, shine. The beginning of the word shine, I hear that digraph, the sh, which says sh, like the shell card. I blank E makes that long I sound. I and says N sh I shine. Next word. Smile. Your turn. Sm I O smile. Smile. S M. You just put those two sounds together. Sm Sm. I blank E makes that long I sound. I, sm, I, my. L says, ol, sm, I, ol, smile. So like I've said before with long vowels, it's almost like you're blending backwards. Sm, and 
then you take these two, that I blank E, and then you go back to that L. Smile. Smile. Next word. Bit. Your turn. B. I. T. Bit. Bit. When we say the word bit, we don't hear the long I. We hear I, which is just the insect card. I. So we know that I is not going to have its buddy E in this word. He says ta, ba, it, bit. But watch what happens when I add its buddy E to this I. And I'm going to make the word bite. Your turn. Ba, I, t, bite. So B still says ba. I, once I has his buddy E, it's no longer going to say I, we give him his buddy E, now it's going to say I. So, B, I. T says ta, B, I, T, bite. Alright, let's read our next line. Shine, smile, bit, bite. Your turn. Thank you so much if you're participating. Next word. Take. Your turn. Ta. A. K. Take. So this word uses that long A like we did last week. T says ta. And A blanky like the train card from last week. Ta. A. He says, ka, ta, ache, take. Next word, skate. Your turn. Ska, a, t, skate. S K, ska, ska. A, so that's long A with his buddy E, ska. A, ske. T says ta, ska, eight, skate. And next word, rid. No, slid, sorry. Sol, i, da. Slid. My bad. Silly Miss Porter. <laughs> S L, s o, sol. I says I, soul, I, sl, I. D says da, soul, id, slid. So I'm going to turn this word slid into the word slide. So I'm basically going to turn this I, the insect card, into a long I, the five card. Soul, I'd. I'm going to make the word slide. S L S O soul. In order to make slide, we give I its buddy E to say I instead of I soul I. D says D soul I d slide. Right, so in bit and bite, all we did is we add we added an E and it's a whole new word. Same thing with slid and slide. All we did was add an E. Whole new word. All right, so let's read our last line. Take, skate, slid, slide. Your turn. Excellent. Thank you. All right, let's do a sentence. M says, mm. I blank E says I, mm, I, my. K says K, mm, I, k, Mike. So we know that the M is capitalized because it's the beginning of a sentence. The first letter in a sentence is always capitalized. We know this. Now it has two reasons for it to be capitalized. It's a person. It's a name. 
else of all. I blinky, I, all I. Okay, it says ka, all, I, k, like, Mike like. That rhymes, but it doesn't make sense. We'd have to change this word like to make it make sense. So we're going to add an S to this word, likes. So you may have noticed, but the word like is a high frequency word. It was a high frequency word from kinder. Now that we have a new tool, like the long I, the I blanky, now we can sound out that word. We've always talked about how you can't sound out high frequency words, but now we've got extra tools in our back pocket so we can sound out the word like. Mike likes, high frequency word two, R says er, I blanky, I, er, I. He says duh, er, I, d, ride. Mike likes to ride his B says buh. I blanky, I, buh, I, bye. Okay, it says ka, buh, I, k, bike. Mike likes to ride his bike. F says f. A says a. S T st st ast fast. All right, let's go and read our sentence. Mike likes to ride his bike fast. Your turn. Excellent. So we do need some punctuation. So this sentence could have two types of punctuation. And if you're writing it, which of course I hope you are, you can choose which one you want to put. So this sentence could have a period. It could have a period because it's just a statement. It's telling us something. It's telling us what Mike likes. Mike likes to ride his bike fast. Or maybe you're really surprised because you're surprised at how fast Mike likes to ride his bike. Like, oh, it's really fast. Mike likes to ride his bike really fast. I don't know if I could go that fast on my bike. It might be a little scary. But Mike, he likes to go fast on his bike. So you could have an exclamation point. Remember, if you're going to put an exclamation point at, your, at the end of your sentence, you'd have to be able to say it with an exclamation point. Because if you don't put any oomph in there, then... You shouldn't have an exclamation point. All right, nouns and verbs. So Mike is one of our nouns. We talked about that just a little bit ago. That a noun is a person, a place, or a thing. Mike is a name, so therefore it's a person. It's a noun. Mike likes to ride his bike fast. So there's one more thing in here that we could touch. Bike. Bike is a thing. And verbs, we have two verbs in this sentence. So Mike, what is Mike doing? Mike likes, he likes to do something. What does he like to do? The other thing that he is doing is riding his bike. So ride is an action, it's something you can see. You can see Mike riding his bike pretty fast. And you can see that he likes it. He's got a big smile on his face while he is riding his bike super duper fast. All right, let's read our sentence once more. Mike likes to ride his bike fast. Your turn. Thank you so much for your participation, guys. We'll see you later.